CataractCoach.com, a dense white cataract with a femtosecond laser. Now, will the laser light energy be able to penetrate this opaque cataract? All right, here we go. There's the femtosecond laser. You can see on the OCT image and the microscope image that it was able to make a capsulotomy. Sometimes when the intumescent lens fluid comes out of the capsule bag, that can sometimes block laser light transmission. So in this case, let's see, is the flap completely free floating or is it still attached? So there's a tripan blue dye here and you can see it looks like it's reasonable. Let's put some viscoelastic in. Is it still attached? And it could be, right? Remember, you ideally want a free floating capsulotomy. Let's make a main incision here and let's go inside and check. And is it a free-floating capsulotomy? If so, then you're in business. If not, then just carefully cut it or, or finish tearing it. And let's take a look here. And is it fully detached? Um, looks pretty reasonable, actually. You can see a little more lens milk coming out of the capsule bag. That's the liquefied lens cortex. On the hydro dissection, you'll be very cautious. You may not even need to do any. It can already rotate as it is because most of the cortex has been liquefied. Yeah, there it is. It's already rotating. Now, let's see a little more viscal to go inside the eye. Let's see the technique. Certainly, there's some density to this nucleus now. And we've got a phaco probe in the right hand, chopper in the left. Let's see the technique here. Looks like a groove down the middle. Okay, perhaps a stop and chop technique. And nicely done there. We'll just fast forward here a little bit. There it is. And let's split that nucleus. And do, there it is. And do halves. At this point, we can do some chop. I'd make sure the halves are split a little bit further. And okay, there's a, there's a good chop. I like that. A little bit of a vertical chop there. Make another chop. Beautiful. Good technique here. And then rotate. Let me see. Another chop. You know, sometimes it's so much fun to chop, you just get carried away. You keep chopping it. But yeah, you want to get this piece, first piece out, give yourself a little bit more room here. One of the reasons I like to sit temporal when I operate is that I have a lot more access. A little bit tough sometimes when you sit superior if a patient has like a big brow, like in this case, kind of hard to keep the eye in primary. More viscous to protect the endothelium, also protect the capsular bag. That's a smart move. Very smart move there. And now let's see, finish chopping up this nucleus. So certainly femtosecond lasers can be useful for certain types of tough cases, that's for sure. There are other devices as well. I encourage you to learn as much as possible have as many tools as you want in the toolbox and then figure out which are your favorites and when you want to use each tool. That's probably the ideal method. And again, here, probably because the patient has a big brow, a little bit hard to keep the eye in primary position, but able to get these pieces out pretty nicely, rotated around here. And of course, as we know, this is my favorite in all of medicine, which is the dense white cataract phaco surgery. It's like truly a miracle. This patient walked into the clinic blind and will leave with great vision. Even more viscoelastic, another smart move, really protecting that posterior capsule. I like that idea here. And then just take out the remainder of these pieces here. Remember, nothing is weighing down the capsular bag, so that's why I like the viscoelastic idea. That viscoelastic will keep the capsular bag, the posterior capsule, away from the phaco tip. And there we go, last piece coming out, chopper in the safe position. I like that too, or the second instrument in the safe position. Get that last piece out, there it is. Boom, very nicely done. Excellent. So it's interesting here in this case, even though a femtosecond laser was used for the capsulotomy, obviously it wasn't able to penetrate the opaque lens, so you didn't use it to break the lens up. And also the femtosecond laser was not used to make the incision. So I agree with this surgeon that I think the femtosecond laser incisions for the main incision are not ideal. I'd rather do it with a diamond keratome or even like in this case a steel keratome. I think that's going to make a nicer incision that seals well. In fact, better than a femtosecond laser phaco incision. So here's the end of the case. Let's see a little bit of that hydro polishing, maybe, of the capsule. Maybe, let's see, viscoelastic, fill the bag. Let's get the lens in. And again, what an incredible result for this patient. What a fortunate patient to be able to have vision completely restored. Here comes the lens. Let's see what we got here. Looks like a single piece acrylic. Yeah, it looks like a monofocal non-torque lens. Get that in the capsule bag. Get that rotated around. Very nicely done. All right, take out the Visco Asco, call it a day. Well, beautiful case here. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Remember, check out retinorals.com, our absolutely amazing sister channel. So much great material, I promise. You're going to learn a ton, and you're going to love it.